Hello everyone, welcome to Think Computer YouTube channel. In this video, I will explain how you can download the latest version of QBasic software. The latest version of QBasic is QBasic version 2, which is available for Mac OS, Linux, as well as for Windows 64 and 32 bit. Now, there are different websites from where you can get the QBasic software, but I'm going to suggest that you should download it from the GitHub website. So, you need to open the web browser go to the search engine and there you type download QBasic GitHub then you will find different links you have to go to this link which says releases QB64 team slash QB64 but I'm going to attach this link to the description of this video so you can directly come to this page okay it says version 2.0.2 right download links and you see it's available for Linux, Mac OS, Windows 64 as well as Windows 32 and it is supported up to Windows 11 which is the latest version of Windows as of 2024. So you decide which version of Windows you are having is it 32 bit or 64 bit I'm going to go for the 64 bit and with each version you have two options 7 zip archive and you also have the dot zip archive so I'm going to suggest that you go for the dot zip because for opening the 7-zip you need the 7-zip extraction software so I'm going to open this and it should start downloading yes you can see it's downloading now open the download folder and you need to extract this file which you have downloaded this archive which you have downloaded extract it if you have WinRAR then you can extract it using that or you can also extract it using the Windows Explorer Windows 10 and 11 by default supports extraction of zip archives right so open this folder which is now available okay and this is the file okay qb64 application it says double click on this it will open the software and this interface will be slightly different from the qb64 version 1.4 that has a different uh, color tone also and the font is also slightly different click on ok and you can maximize this window if the font size is small then you can go to options display and from there you can click on use mono space ptf font and you can select the font size 26 is fine this will increase the size of your qb64 font okay so now it's there you can see it's showing version 2.0.2 so this is the latest version of qbasic as of now which has extra features as you can see there are a lot of extra menus also available so that's all for this video I hope you will download QBasic and you will start the journey of your programming right now. All the best for your programming adventures ahead. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more such videos.